The Get Fit program at Summit Parkway Middle School challenged its 8th grade students to a balloon car competition, where students designed and fabricated a car which accelerates from the propulsion of air released by a balloon attached to the car's chassis. And today is um, our balloon race car day, where they had to build and design their car. And when they did their car, they had to design a car that was powered by a balloon and um, the only stipulation was that they could not use any kind of real wheels. So they had to be creative and come up with a certain kind of wheels. And um, there was no stipulation as to how many balloons because we just wanted to see what they were going to come up with. Interim Superintendent Dr. Debbie Hamm and other district office employees judged the cars based on design, advertising, and salesmanship. The first three categories involved non-racing cars. We had the best car design, we had the best car ad, and then we had the best salesperson. So those were the three categories before the race. The students lined their cars up and raced to find out who had the fastest car and whose car could travel the farthest. A lot of hard work and thought went into the balloon cars, and the students learned a lot about the design process. My dad made a airplane kind of thing out of carbon fiber, and we had some laying around in my house. And he told me it was light and strong, so I used it for my car. And I was going to make it a triangle, but I didn't have enough carbon and fiber. I mean, like a triangular prism. I had three wheels, and I used the string from the fishing line spool and wrapped it around the inside on the inside so that the balloon wouldn't hit the ground when it was running. Start, start from scratch. Uh, we uh, saw some designs on YouTube, like, okay, we can use that and stuff. And basically, we uh, made out CDs, put straw in the middle of the CD so it wouldn't bend anywhere, and just put some stuff on it. My car was called the Tiny Tim Mobile and that I'm tiny but mighty. And I told him the reason I did it was first off is because I'm tiny and people call me tiny all the time. And most of the time my mom tells me dynamite comes in small packages. So I thought um, Tiny Tim would be the most dynamite thing out there. Get Fit lead teacher Debbie Bernhagen hosts the event to teach students about biomechanics and Newton's laws of motion. Well, the whole project is to get them ready to start analyzing and studying Newton's Law. And what we're going to do is we're going to relate them to how the body moves. So um, they, they did a kind of lab like this in sixth grade, and then they did a similar event in seventh grade, and then we tied it and, and kind of did this with eighth grade. And um, we'll be going to Disney World in January, and we're going to go behind the scenes and look at roller coasters and how they work. And so all of this ties into that. The students had a blast building and racing their cars and feel that the competition brought out the engineer and everyone. I think I did really good and everybody else was a good competition. Um, I think everybody else did good and we're all winners. I thought all the students did great. They're all to be commended on their actions, not just the winners.